Yo guys, welcome back. It's raining a lot outside. So it's time to do some utility for your jump, in particular for jumper knee. Today we're gonna talk about how to recover fast from this type of injury and strengthen our tendon. Let's start. Lights out. Now we will see the seven step to do to recovery from jumper knee. And the first step is just stop the activity. Yeah, it's easy, but most of the people don't do this because uh, they are playing basketball, uh, volleyball, etc. And they, maybe they had a little bit uh, knee pain and they play on. And these, uh, over the time, increase gradually the pain on the knee. And uh, a stop that can be one or two weeks became one or two months. So it's not a good exchange. So skip this week to don't skip the next two months. And the second step is use highs after activity. Using the highs immediately after the activity reduce the inflammation, the local inflammation. And if you want to be the pro, you can do a nice butt, but it's not easy. Usually after my jump training I use this type of ice because literally I can do anything like uh, I can walk, uh, I can do something else without uh, hold like this. As you can see it's so simple to put on and I can just walk. Yeah, very comfortable. The third phase is to understand the cause of your knee pain. And it's really fundamental, this part, to avoid the knee pain in the future too. Because if you just cure the pain, you don't cure the cause of the pain. I listed the most common cause of knee pain. One, overload, hard surface, traumatic event, unbalancement in your body, weakness of your antagonist muscle. Let's go to analyze them. The overload is simple, cause if you train hard every time, every day, without a proper rest, sooner or later you will have knee pain. It's mathematic. So in your jump program, just program the, the load week and an intensity variable, not uh, just uh, 100%, maybe one week uh, 90%, one week 80%, one week uh, 100%, with a uh, lot week to permit uh, to your body to recover and uh, getting better, yeah, because your muscle getting better when you rest. If you don't have rest, your performance will decrease, like this. The workout work like Okay, this is my level. After the training, my level go a little bit down. With the rest, they rise up just a little bit bef right before my previous performance. But if I can continue to work out without rest, my performance still decreases. Not strong. The second is a traumatic event. So if you are unlucky, I c you can't do basically anything. Instead, just balance exercise that can maybe help you to fall down better. And this can save your knee in some cases. Unbalancements are one of the most uh, common cases of the pain and it's hard to discover. Maybe you have a little bit of band on your back and you can't see them, or maybe your leg is a little bit uh, low, shorter than the other, and this of the time can cause this type of imbalancement, and the muscle try to rebalance it, and this can cause contracture on your body. 
and it's hard to fix it. Physiotherapists and osteopathics are fundamental to discover this and suggest to you the best exercise that you can do. But if you have some contracture, I suggest to you the foam roller. Yeah, it's one of your best friend for the contractor. This little bastard can cause you a lot of pain, but uh, trust me, they can save you. The most common contractor is here, and this is perfect to eliminate it. In this way, you just find the contractor, you can uh, notice for the pain, yeah, and just stay there. When uh, the pain is going down, just pass to another area. Yeah, you can start like this. When uh, the pain goes off, just do a little step ahead. If you want to be the pro, you can use this. This uh, can find the contractor that the forerunner can't uh, bring it off and I especially use it on the waist like this just put on the base of your glutes and start to add a lot of pain ah! find the, the right area and just go around it yeah it's hard but it's really helpful I use it for years one of the best investment of my life and I, I think just uh, 10 euros maybe. If you are interested in my equipment, the link are in the description. Another little tips that I can uh, say to you is just uh, to don't play too often on harder surface. If you, uh, for example, play volleyball three times a week, I suggest you to don't uh, train your vertical jump on concrete but maybe on the grass or on the carpet like me. Yeah. This is a carpet, but if you can say. Or another anti-shock surface. The first step is fundamental and it's don't stop your movement at all. We have just to stop the movement that can cause you pain like a jump like a heavy squat like plyometrics this exercise not all your movement in your life cause your movement can flow the blood around around your knee and repair your knee structure if you stop all the activity the circulation of the blood is compromised and your recovery will be longer. The fifth phase include work on your weakness and strength your structure. So, most, for example, if you are a volleyball player, you are uh, habits to jump with two feet. And this movement overload the quad and your bicipit femoralis are not stimulated. Over the time this unbalancement can cause you knee pain. How I know? Because I had. Yeah. So if you feel your quad really really tired very often work on bicipit femoralis and the calf, and the back, and the core cause uh, over the time the unbalancement can cause you pain Easy. Simple. and the strengthen of your structure work together with this but uh, what exercise? I will show you how knee strengthen like this let's go Leg extension and maybe eccentric phase two. Leg extension, eccentric phase longer, 
consent is paid first. If you work eight hours, I'm a work nine. If the shoe tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'm gonna stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight kid. Eccentric fall from a chair. Got juice, got gas, I'm a move. Slow it, go down. Then, rise. Last year, it's a new me. Never gonna look back. Never gonna look back. Abductor opening. You move slow when I move fast. And that's facts. The feet must stay together. Knee must be at around 90 degrees. Cause that's what it takes. Eccentric calf rise. Slow we go down. Then rise. This is one of my favorite and uh, they want substitute the leg curl that I don't have in my home gym. And I don't have a friend that can hold my feet too. And I don't have a friend... Yeah, slow we go down. There is up. I like it so, the, this exercise so, so much. Yeah, this was uh, the most uh, strange exercise that I do to prevent and cure my jumper's knee. And I think that we can pass to the next phase. So we are doing a good process. We are rested so much. We are uh, strengthened. Uh, our weakness, unbalancement. The last step is just to don't force too much and gradually increase the overload. You can't just restart to squat 100 kilograms, but maybe start from 15 kilograms and week to week just increase it gradually. Or maybe your jump. Don't jump one hour at your 100% because the tendon are really, really long to repair themselves completely. So just start gradually and you will return to your best jump soon and better. Okay guys, this video was a little bit uh, different from the usual. Just uh, comment if you like this type of video. And uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, do another things. Uh, bye.